Yo, what's going on, YouTube? I just woke up. It's uh, October 25th, Friday, and it's about 3.30 p.m. So, got up a little earlier than usual. Yeah, I got up a little earlier than usual today. I was planning on going up on a hike, but I really want to spend some time on the hike and spend some time at the top of the hike. And I feel like it would get dark, you know? The time it take me to shower and get ready, get to the place, do the hike, I'm like, ah, I gotta get up even earlier. So, I was like, I'll have to do another day. But I'm getting my breakfast ready. And before I did anything, I actually went outside and got like a physique update recorded myself posing so I could send to my coach because we're like uh, officially three weeks out tomorrow but I just wanted to send him some uh, progress shots just like yo man we're officially three weeks out pretty much you know and you know we were looking good we were looking shredded he said yo you can have a cheat meal today and he's gonna send me all my new diet plans like my new diet update on uh, Monday so in two days three days I'll get that so we're just sticking to what we currently, the current plan until Monday, and we get a cheat meal tonight. He actually specifically told me to get some sushi. And I had to double check. I was like, yo, bro, I'm not craving anything. I'm like, yo, we're not eating a lot on this diet, but like I haven't been like super low on energy. I'm not craving nothing. I feel good. But if the boss is telling me to go, you know, eat, have a cheat meal, then by all means. I'll go have that cheat meal, brother. So, but I was just pretty much saying, like, don't feel bad for me. Like, I'm fine, you know. Um, but he he insisted. He said, no, you 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 need the cheat meal. It's like a clean slate, and then, you know, we're gonna fucking grind it out for three weeks. So I was like, all right. But to be honest, and he said, if you don't want sushi, you can get like some teriyaki chicken with white rice or something like that. But if I did go to sushi, it was like just don't have more than thirty five hundred calories, which is a lot. Um. But in my head, I like, I'd rather have the uh, teriyaki chicken with like the white rice. There's like this Hawaiian barbecue place called Makai that I like. And I'm actually planning on going there instead. Um, Cause I don't want to go OD on some all you can eat sushi and just like, you know, <laughs> I don't want to do that. And that's a lot of mushrooms I just cut up. But I mean, if it's a cheat, if it's a cheat day, Extra mushrooms ain't gonna do shit. We're good. So I'm pretty excited. And I'm actually feeling like good on energy. Like, you know, I woke up, I got some good sleep. I kind of want to go um, to a gym or a park right now and just do some type of core work. I want to see if I can hit a human flagpole now that I'm like shredded and stuff. Cause before, maybe like a year and it's some change ago when I was shredded, before I started like going, doing my bulk, I was doing a bunch of calisthenic stuff and um, I was hitting that fucking human flagpole. Maybe not with the straight legs, but I could hold it like this and I could tuck my legs in. So I could be like tuck, kick it out, it's a straddle, but straight legs was always hard. But I feel stronger than ever. So I want to see if I can do it. Um, so I kind of want to go to a park after I eat this breakfast and just see where I'm at. Maybe do like some hanging leg raises as well. I don't know, I just want to do something. I don't feel like sitting in the house right now. Because I wanted to go on that hike and I'm not gonna go, so I want to do something else. Every day I wake up, I'm so happy. so happy like every day I wake up y'all I'm just like oh my god I can just make my breakfast again and start a new round of meals like <laughs> I don't know I just get so happy I'm like yes I'm up and 
I'm really curious to see what the new meal plan is gonna look like, you know? I just want it to be something that will deplete the fuck out of me. Like, I wanna just fucking struggle for the last three weeks, just get super shredded. And, yeah. And the main thing I need to work on is, like, my back poses. The back pose is so weird. Like, the back of the bicep is so weird. Because, like, if you just do something wrong, like, if you lean too far back or you're too far forward, like, your back does not pop like it can. And then it's, like, your hamstrings, too. Like, if you, do, if you just do the wrong thing with your hamstrings, it's, like, they're not popping either. You got to line everything up perfectly. And, like, that's the only thing I need to work on, I feel my front poses, I'd be feeling comfortable with them, you know. I'll obviously still got to practice them, but I'm worried about the back pose. But yeah, so. Yo, pineapple. That should be on point, man. I wasn't even like the biggest pineapple fan, but it's in my diet plan for, for a lot of this prep. And like that shit will kill all your cravings. Like have some fresh pineapple in the fridge and you even want like, you ever start getting like that sweet tooth or just like you need something, some cold pineapple, bro, you just need like three pieces. You'd be, get like three, man, you just be, mm-hmm. The shit will have you refreshed. You don't need, you don't need no candy, you don't need no pizza, you don't need none of that bullshit, bro. Just fucking eat that shit right there, and you'll be like, mmm, I feel satisfied. Cool. Nice. Mushies and spit. All right, y'all, I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go to the park and see if I can eat a human flagpole. It's really good. man but they don't really have anything to do 
the human flagpole on. You know, this is, they've rearranged this place since I've last been here. You know, I need like some parallel bars this way, like horizontally, so you know, I can grab onto. But um, I just decided to mess around with some handstands on the bars. You know, I don't really use the bars, but it was pretty cool. You know, I got up there and I was able to walk across it. So it was vibey, you know, it was a cool little, cool session. Um, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go check this, I'm, I'm gonna go to this, this gym real quick because I know they got a place where I can um, try the flagpole. So I'm gonna go over there and try it. Hopefully it's not packed in there. So I gotta set the tripod up. All right, y'all, we hit that motherfucking flagpole. You saw that shit? That was pretty cool. I haven't tried that in like, a, like a year and some change. Like there was no way I was doing that on my bulk. And I just had the urge to try it since I've you know, lost so much weight. I was like, let me try this shit, man. Maybe I got it. We got it. So that's good. That means that like, you know, our flexibility, our core control is just really on point. All the mobility we've been doing, that shit's just been like making it just on demand, you know, we didn't have to practice. I mean, that was like my first couple tries, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm outside of Makai, this Pacific Island grill, and we're gonna get the cheat meal. Uh, Y'all do white rice, please. And I'll do uh, teriyaki chicken, teriyaki steak. I think I'll do teriyaki twice. Teriyaki chicken twice. Yeah. Can I also do a side of a, like a, a normal side of, say the, um, the regular poke? Yeah, please. Thank you. Garlic, please. Thank you. Yeah, the smallest size is good. Thank you. Could you do half and half? Is that possible? Okay, that'd be cool. I'll do that. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Uh, to go, please. Hey, can I get a side up for a cake? Yo, this shit is actually really exciting. I haven't had a like a cheat meal in fucking weeks. And that last cheat meal I had, like fucking ten vlogs ago or something, we had a dry ass. In and out burger with some dry ass fries. It was trash. And then maybe some time after, I did have like a Chipotle burrito for another cheat meal, but you know, it wasn't, it's not really like a cheat meal. Even this isn't too bad, you know, it's just fucking meat and rice and stuff. So, yeah. Well, let's see how it looks when we get home. All right, shall we back home, man? Oh, yeah. This is that cheat meal. But I stopped at uh, Smith's real quick to get some coconut water. You know, so we can really enjoy ourselves. You know, we've been fucking chugging gallons of water. Let's just get some coconut water. For the meal, you know, it's only a 45 calories per serving, and there's four servings in here. So this only this only has 180 calories, you guys. 
I got some uh, roasted seaweed snacks because I got some poke in there, you know, with some rice and stuff. So my coach said to have sushi. You know, it's basically gonna be like sushi with some teriyaki chicken and teriyaki steak. And then I ran out of a uh, cream of rice for my post-workout meal. So I needed some cream of rice. But we not worried about no cream of rice right now, man. We worried about that real shit. Let me see what we got. Bow. Bow. And we got that teriyaki sauce, man. And some of that furikake, man. So I'm excited. Like I said, I have not, I've only had like two cheat meals this whole fucking prep, right? Maybe three actually. Um, maybe when I like first started my diet, like a week into the diet, my family all went out for Korean barbecue. This was like fucking 16 weeks out. So I was like, nah, fuck that. I'm gonna enjoy some Korean barbecue with my family, you know? Then I went like fucking six weeks with no cheat meal. And then my coach said I could have a burger and fries. I went to In-N-Out and didn't eat the burger right away. So it got cold and it was stale and the fries were stale. It, it sucked. It was nothing. Garbage. Then another six, six weeks kind of went by or something and I got a Chipotle burrito. I wanted to get this, that cheat meal, but this place is closed on Sundays and I was trying to get my cheat meal on a Sunday. So I had to go, go to Chipotle. So now we did like four more weeks or whatever and I haven't had a cheat meal. And here we are. Here we are, well deserved. So I'm gonna zoom in on this. But right now what it is is it's two servings of teriyaki chicken. There's some teriyaki steak in there. It's got like two cups of some rice. I've got some garlic edamame and I got a macaroni salad, boom. And then I couldn't decide if I wanted like teriyaki chicken for a side or poke. So I was like, let me just get two teriyaki chickens and I'll just get some extra poke on the side. So uh, spicy, spicy tuna, regular tuna, yum. And you know, my coach said don't have over 3,500 calories. Ain't no way this is 3,500 calories, right? We'll be just fine. I'm not worried about that. So let me throw this for a cake on the on the rice. Ooh, it's gonna be so fucking good, guys. Throw it on everything. This shit just makes everything good anyway. Oh wow. Go ahead. Nice. Nice. Okay. see the calories on these this is like nothing yeah the whole container is just 60 calories um need the glass bam um it's still hot yeah it's good i kind of want it hotter though um i'm tired as hell Like sleepy my body probably needs a rest day but I'm gonna want to go to the gym I know how I am we're gonna hit arms today I can't do legs it would be a leg day but I need a fucking rest day before I get back into legs cuz I've probably gone to the gym like 10 12 days straight like you know I need to just stay home one day and like take a step back so you can take five steps forward re-energize Yeah, this shit is about to be banging, you guys. I'm fucking excited, okay? Plus, I wanna see what this kind of does to like my physique. I wanna eat it, and I wanna go to the gym and like see what it does. Am I gonna spill over, or are we gonna keep shit tight in there? It's like, oh my God, we're fucking Super Saiyan. We gotta see. But let me show you this shit up close. Dude, that is beautiful. Look at that. That is so fucking pretty. So good looking. Oh my God. There's the teriyaki steak. There's the bunch of chicken. 
Yum. Yum. Spin that thing around, dog. And then I got the spicy tuna. And we got the regular tuna. And oh yeah, you know, the Vita coconut water. And we got that. Come on, I gotta, gotta vlog, right? We gotta eat. We gotta eat with YouTube. All right. But this shit is looking fire, dog. So you see, we got the, you know, the seaweed chip so we can put like, you know, put some poke on it. Put a little bit of that on. You can put some rice on it if you want to. And we basically got sushi like our coach asked us. Except we got the Hawaiian barbecue version. Fire. I put this all on a different plate because I had to heat it up. It wasn't cold, but it wasn't hot enough. You know what I mean? I'm like, no, we're going to enjoy this to the fullest, the fullest, the fullest. So. Might not need too much teriyaki sauce actually, but she is. We can just do that, you know, a little more. A little mo. I kind of want the macaroni on this side. I ain't gonna lie, the macaroni is kind of scaring me. Like, I don't know if I should have got the macaroni, but the way I see it is if you told me to eat, go to sushi, get some all you can eat sushi, <laughs> shit. I would have done way worse. So this is all right, man. My phone's on 4%, so if it dies, it dies. I'm excited as hell, man. The fights are in like, these UFC fights are in like 12 hours. I cannot wait. I can barely even think right now, I'm so tired. I think only got like five hours of sleep. It's funny because even as I, I was gonna say I missed this place, and it's like I did, but to be honest, I just haven't been craving anything, so I could even go without it. Like I do not mind. I got a chess video playing right now. A tournament is going on. There's a tournament. Going Called the Tenth Gashi Mob. Some of the best players are on there. So I'll be watching. It. You know why we get the cheat day, right? It's because we just keep depleting and depleting and depleting and depleting and depleting. And it's like we got three weeks to the show, so it's like let's let's re up real quick. Let's re up, and then we can just deplete until the show. Instead of from deplete, 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 all the way to the show, it's like, yo, let's bounce up a little bit and we'll come back down. You know, you don't want to peak too early. Not to say that we uh, have peaked yet, but like, that's just the idea of it. You don't want to just come all the way down to the show. Let's come up, then come down, and back to like, you don't want to peak too early. Like, you want to peak right when, uh, you know, it's time to peak. Otherwise, if you peak too early, you're just gonna be like the flat tire on the road, man. Your muscles aren't gonna be 100%. You're just gonna be beat down, and you don't want that. You wanna come real nice for the show. You wanna come, you know, 85, 90%. Obviously, you wanna come 100%, but that means you gotta do everything perfect. But at least come 85%. Don't be hella flat, hella tired, hella like muscles are just fucked up because you've been dieting for 20 weeks and you've never even refed yourself. You don't want that. And I imagine this new diet plan I'm gonna get is gonna be rough. And there's gonna be no more cheat meals until the show so we can actually just descend perfectly into the show. So that's the idea behind it. And this ain't even a bad cheat meal, you know? This is just fucking like, most of it is just protein carbs, vegetables, fat, like it's just protein and, you know, and fat. 
You see, you see what I'm eating. This ain't like nothing's fried. It's all good shit. My stomach is not used to eating so much food anymore either. Like, I'm already very satisfied. I haven't even touched much. Because all I've been eating for the last fucking two weeks is fucking like fruit and barely any protein. So this shit is actually filling me up. Glad we did go to the park and like mess around with some calisthenics, you know, just to, we built up a little bit of a workout. It's funny because I still want my other meals. Like when I'm, when I'm, I'm actually like, yo, I want some of that fruit and I want some of that pineapple. I want that Ezekiel toast with the almond butter on it. I don't really care for the chicken and the rice at the end of the day that I got to eat, but. I got this, obviously. But I still want those snack meals, low key. I went overboard with the poke, I didn't eat all that. I wish I had somebody to share it with. Because otherwise, I might have to waste it. I think my phone's gonna die if it hasn't already, so let me just turn that off. I'll eat the rest in peace. You know, the first time I ever had coconut water, I got out of a hot yoga class and I fainted. And when I woke up, Somebody was just standing over me with some coconut water in my face. He's like, drink this. <laughs> and that shit was so fucking good. It was so good that after every yoga session after that, not every, but like for maybe like a month or two, three months, I would always buy a coconut water after the hot yoga session. Like, boy, you earned it. She put me on coconut water. All right, y'all, so I just woke up, man. I took a nap, I finished my cheat meal, but I didn't finish the poke side. I ate all the teriyaki chicken, the teriyaki steak, the rice and the macaroni, but I ended up throwing away like half of the poke. And you know, here's how we're looking right now, you know? It's not bad. You know, like not too much damage was done and I'm actually still kind of full. Like, you know, my stomach still feels well fed. But I'm about to go to the gym in a little bit. So I kind of want to get like, I'm craving some fruit. So I just made like, what are my snack meals? I got like half a cup of pineapple, the rest of the blueberries I had in there. I like half a cup of strawberries and I got that Ezekiel bread toast with the almond butter. And I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go to the gym. That nap really did me good too because I was fucking like tired. But now I feel like I had a rest day. Like, you know, now I'm waking up like, oh shit, I can go smash the gym. You know, my eyes aren't feeling heavy. I'm not dragging anymore. I have a lot of energy, maybe from the meal and the, the nap. I'm feeling good. So, you know, we'll, we'll hit some fucking arms and then kill the day off. You know, it's like 1030. After we get home, we'll have to do like cardio. And then we go to sleep and we got UFC fights the next day. Oh, yeah, man.
What's up, team? We back from the gym, man. I'm cooking some eggs right now. Getting the post-workout meal made. Did a nice arm workout. My uh, my bro hit me up like while I was on my way to the gym. And he wanted to lift, so I was like, fuck it, let's go. I was gonna do like some handstands and like stretch and things like that. But since he hit me up, I was like, okay, I'll just do arms again. And we got a cool arm workout. I just did like three exercises for triceps, three for biceps. And mind you, I was really, I kind of wanted to take a rest day today, but I took that nap earlier, had the cheat meal. So I kind of felt like refreshed. And I wanted to work off some of the cheat meal and also see how the physique was looking after the cheat meal. So I wanted to see all those things and um, forced me to get a workout in today. Um, and it looked pretty cool, you know? We didn't do any damage. At the end of the workout, the scale said 192, but I weighted myself in while wearing, you know, these, this heavy ass jacket, got a fucking shirt on underneath it and shit. So I, really, I feel like we were standard. Like I don't think it did any type of damage. It kind of kept us right where we were at, which is perfect. Um, I'm still gonna have this meal. And I kind of still got to do some cardio, right? I should go do go back to this other gym, do some cardio. So I, I may even have my last meal today and just like, just finish all my meals off because no damage was done. I'm still feeling hungry and things like that. So I think it's cool if we get our meals in. Today was interesting though. I had the urge to like try some calisthenic stuff. We got that fucking flagpole, you know? It wasn't the cleanest, but it's there, you know? It's just fire. I haven't tried that shit in like a year and some change. Like the last time I was shredded and I but I bulked for like a year and some change So I haven't tried it since then and we got it. So that means our core our flexibility is just like on demand now We don't even need Like Like those tougher tough moves are just becoming natural for me. You know what I'm saying? Which is amazing Even that jump you did it was only 42 inches, but back in the day if I was trying to do that my mind would have been like nah, you can't do it, but one day I was at the gym and I was using that height to stretch, like lift my leg up and stretch. And some guy was like, you're gonna jump on that? And I was like, nah, I'm using it to stretch, but it's funny you ask because my brain isn't like canceling it out. It's saying, like the door feels open. I was like, let me see if I can do it. And I can do it, no warm up. Like, so this, the tough shit that used to feel impossible or just feel hard, maybe, you know, just things, it's just coming very natural. So signs of a better athlete, which is good. That's the quest. We get the muscle, the flexibility, the body weight strength, just overall body mastery and awareness. That's what we're coming for. So I'm hitting, you know, I'm hitting them corners. I'm hitting them disciplines. It feels nice. We want everything. We don't want just one thing. We don't want to just be a bodybuilder. We don't want to just be flexible. We don't want to just do calisthenics. We want all of that shit, dog. Because who said we can't have it all? Hmm? Who said we can't have it all? Was it you? Was it some random person that told you they can't do it? What, what, who told you that, man? Yeah. Don't listen. If you want it, you'll fucking get it. You heard that? If you want it, you'll get it. Yeah, so you really gotta want it, right? Because if you ain't gonna get it, I mean, you really didn't want it. So, if you really think you want it, What's stopping you? All you gotta do is make the decision. Once you decide, you know, take the first step, man. You know, 10,000 miles, whatever the journey is, you know, it starts with the first step and then the next step and then the next step. All you gotta do is take your steps. Eventually, you will find yourself at the finish line. And it's your path, it's your road. You know what I'm saying? Decide what your soul wants, decide what you want. And what the fuck is gonna stop you? Don't let no earthly shit get in the way. Don't let some earthly ass opinion, somebody's opinion over here, somebody's opinion over here. Nah, man. Walk the tight rope. Your, your narrow road to where you want to go. You know, hit that, hit that tight rope, bro. Don't look over there. Don't look over there. Don't, there's no room for emotions. It's just what does your soul want? You know, you know, you know we want to feel positive emotions, sure, but like, don't let nothing take you away from you walking that fucking shining blue path to your destination. Now I mean.
It all starts with a decision. So what will you decide, my friend? Wake your ass up, man. What you want? You gotta wake up, get out, and get something. Don't let life just pass you by. Yeah. That's right. Don't spend all your time just trying to get high. You gotta wake up, get out, and get something. Yeah, you know what it is. Yo, I need, I need all these vegetables, dog. I want all that. Just throw it on there, bro. I'll, I'll eat it. I'll eat it. Need it. I feel like eating more fruit. You know what I'm saying? Today's gonna be like a. I'm eating whatever the hell I want, but we're we're eating good though. Like I'm not gonna cheat no more on some bad shit. But if I want some extra pineapple, I'm gonna have it tonight. Okay. You know what's cool? The uh, UFC fights are in fucking three hours. The prelim starts. I don't even think I'm gonna get good sleep today, bro. I really don't, cause. Once the prelims start, I'm gonna be watching that shit. Then the main card starts at 11, and I know I'm not, you know, I'm not going to sleep today. I'm gonna be up to like 2 p.m., probably didn't take a nap, and then start the fucking day the next day. Or not a nap, I'm going to sleep at 2 p.m. I'm gonna wake up at fucking like 8 p.m. or some shit. Start my day. Which might be a rest day. Maybe I need to take a rest day for real, for real, so I can come back and kill legs the next day, you know? That might be the move. Hell yeah. I'm excited though because once this show's over, I promise you I'm going full throttle with the calisthenics. Because what used to hold me back, you guys, was flexibility. My fucking, fucking whole chain, my whole core and chain was just twisted this way. So it wasn't even like a strength issue. My strength was on point. It was just like, bro... Your alignment is fucked and it's holding you back. And now, I just feel ready. Like, oh, there ain't shit hold me back no more. So now, I'm gonna be just a supreme athlete. You're gonna be doing the coolest fucking shit. Ain't nothing stopping me. Nothing stopping me. I've decided. You know what I mean? We're fucking sleeping giants. You just gotta wake up, dog. We're sleeping giants. How you like that? You're a fucking sleeping giant, bro. Just wake up. Fucking bust out the dirt. God. You feel me? Oh, you can't stay asleep forever, bro. They can't hold you down forever, man. They can't keep a good man down. Can't keep a good girl down. For my ladies. Yeah. We got what it takes. Woo! Let me enjoy this meal, y'all. Appreciate you. And I guess we still have some more work to do. Should go to go to the gym and finish off some things after I eat this. some dressing. I can't wait for the new bad plan, y'all. Ooh. I cannot wait. Because that's like the last step, you know? That diet plan is probably gonna last like the last two weeks and then we get the peak peak diet. So it's like the, the next diet plan we get is like the next diet plan we're gonna be rocking with for the next like fucking two, yeah, two weeks. And we're going to get shredded as fuck with it. And then we hit peak week. You know, it's, we're basically there. Like, it's essentially over. I can't believe it. Like, it was just, feels like just yesterday I was fucking like 17 weeks out. And now, like, it's, it's like done, dude. We're already lost like fucking 42 pounds or some shit. And now it ain't even about losing more weight. It's just about getting like more shredded and tight for the show. So we did it, bro. You know what I mean? Pat on the back. All right, I'm gonna eat this 
And whatever the heck I do, I'll show you guys what I do. You know, maybe I go to the gym and dance. Maybe I gotta do some cardio. We'll see what the fuck I do. You know, who knows? Time to tell. Whatever I decide. Yo, so I went to the gym and um, I did the hip adductors, the abductors. I did some seated leg curls, which I never do. They felt really good. Like I should have been doing these. Um, and I did some leg extensions, maybe like four to five sets of each. And then I did my cardio, uh, 30, 30 minutes, 3.5 speed, level 15 incline. And I'm here at the grocery store because remember I mentioned I needed some apples or I forgot the apples earlier. Yeah, we came back to get those, man. I want, I want, I want my fucking apples. Okay. <laughs> That's all I need. Day is over. It's like fucking 6.30 AM. The UFC fights are about to start. So I'm definitely going to peep that. And I'm going to. I will have that last chicken meal after all. Hello, good morning. I will have that last chicken meal after all, and um, I'm gonna have an apple with it. Then I'm gonna edit this video, watch the fights, and I'm gonna see y'all on Sunday, okay? But I'll show you the last meal, but you already know what it is, but I'm gonna show you. It's nice and pretty outside, sun's coming up. We've been up all day, you know how we do. Yeah, just getting this last meal ready. You know, I really like the nightlife, actually. Like, just, because everybody's asleep. And, like, I was driving earlier in the middle of the daytime. And it's just so hectic, you know? There's this traffic. Gotta dodge all these cars. You just feel everybody in motion. And at night, it's just simply not like that. It's just peaceful, open roads. You're just doing your thing. And when you're focused, when you're doing, you're following your journey and doing what the hell your soul wants to do, you don't even need nobody else, really. You don't need to chase nobody. You don't need to chase anything. You just need to keep walking that path and, you know, working on what your soul wants and what your soul decides. So it feels like a lot nicer without the interruptions, if you ask me. <laughs> you know, I did some savage shit earlier when I got home from the gym. I threw that tuna away because I couldn't eat it all. I got really full and I didn't want to like uh, overeat. So I was like, I'm just throw it away. Then when I got back from the gym, I was like craving that shit. I was like, why did I throw that shit away, man? I looked in the trash and like, <laughs> some of it was still like, you know, it was neat. Like it was still on that, uh, that aluminum bowl. Like it was cool. There was still some that I could save. And I swear I pulled that shit out the trash and ate some of it. This, the good, you know, if it touched the side of the trash, I wasn't gonna fuck with it, but some of it was like nicely still tucked into the fucking aluminum. And I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I ate, I ate some pieces like, yeah. Today was trash day though, so I did change the trash. So the trash is like, you know, it's not like, I know that doesn't matter. I'm still, still dirty for that. But if you get what I'm trying to say, it was a new trash bag. It wasn't like a week old. If, fucking chicken meat and shit on the sides and whatnot. <laughs> That's a good amount of chicken. Maybe don't even need to take a look at that. Um, I think the move is I'm gonna I'm gonna take a rest day and then I'm gonna hit legs on Sunday. So Saturday I should rest, you know? I wanted to even hit legs today. I was debating if I should hit legs today, but like, uh, I just like, let me do arms. But to keep the legs pumped, I'll do like a bunch of accessory work, which I did. I told you I did the adductors, abductors, leg extensions, seated leg curls, but that's not enough for no leg day. You know, you need them compound. So I'm gonna take a rest day and then I'm gonna come and hit leg day hard on um, Sunday. That's the move. Like I said, man, when you're dieting and you're craving something, just have some fruit on deck. Like, I'm gonna throw a little bit of pineapple in here too. And that will just cap off my cheat day and then tomorrow is back to the fucking plan. No more bullshit, no more extra. We'll be strict again. But today, 
we are gonna keep it keep it cool enjoy some some extra fruit get us fully satiated for these last three weeks we got before the show the fights are gonna be on in 30 minutes i'm so excited i'm gonna spend the day with my family and watch the fights see if i made the right picks And just have a good day. And I should probably just completely stay away from the gym tomorrow. Because even when I take rest days in the past, like I'd still go to the gym and maybe like stretch or do handstands, just do something. But like I think I need to just like just stay stay home. It's hard for me to do that. Because I always look forward to the gym, you know? But just been there so much. I need to just fucking show. I can't remember the last day I didn't go to the gym. It's probably been like two fucking weeks or something. So that's how I'm feeling. Wow. All right, y'all. So this is the end of uh, my cheat meal day. <laughs> this. I'm going to throw some pineapple in here because I want it. And then I'll throw some strawberries. Whoops. Cool. I can't remember if I had my almonds today. So I'm just gonna throw some in there. So yeah. So fucking beautiful, man. We got our six, seven ounces of chicken, third cup of rice, big salad, fucking apple, some strawberries, pineapple, and almonds for our final meal of the day. And after this, we go back to our regular schedule of uh, being disciplined and sticking 1,000% to the plan, all right? Appreciate you guys watching. Much love. I'll, mm, I'll see. Maybe I can record something Saturday, like answer those questions. Ask me some questions, you know, and I can answer them on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we get back to the prep and the grind and putting this fucking work in, being disciplined, you know, hard work, taking our responsibilities, taking care of our responsibilities, all that type of stuff. And that's what we got to awaken in us. We're the sleeping giants. We got to awaken. Got to be disciplined. Got to work hard. You know what I'm saying? That's what we got to do, guys. All right. Eat this up. My chicken's still juicy, man. It should been in the fridge for like a week, but I, it's it's wet, dog. It's wet. We not we're we're nice with this shit now. Peace. Oh, look at that. Stop playing, dude. Look at that. Look at it. I mean, mm. yes, sir.